Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and um, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing two with the uh, season premiere of Switched at Birth, Season 3, Episode 1, Drowning Girl. This was a fantastic episode, in my opinion. I thought this was a really great episode. I didn't think there was anything wrong with this episode. And you know what I really love about this episode, guys, is that really now, I think... They really said this is the season of changes, and it really is. I think there are a lot of changes coming in this show. Not just in some in this episode, but there are, I think there are some coming in the future, and I'm going to talk about a few of those, because I think there are a few really big things that are going to be happening before this, um, before this season, you know, um, goes on hiatus. So I do think there are quite a few things that are going to be happening, and I really do want to talk about those things. Um, but yeah, as I said, I really enjoyed this episode, but let's just get into it. So... As I know, as you guys know, I loved the finale last year. I thought it was a really, really great finale. It really set everything into place. It really wrapped up a story, some storylines really well, started up some storylines really well, and I just really loved that about um, the last, um, the last uh, episode. So, what's the biggest change on the show? Let's let's get to the changes. Let's talk about the whole episode as a whole. So the biggest change is that Bay and Daphne are going into their senior year at Carlton. Um, and uh, it's pretty big because, you know, you I didn't really think they were going to be in the senior year. I already thought, you know, Toby's graduated already, but they're in their senior year now. So um, they're in their senior year. And uh, you can see that Catherine and John, you know, they're kind of, Catherine's kind of upset about this. But, um, you know, we'll get to that in a second. But when they get to Carlton, they realize things are a lot different because it's undergoing some change of its own. So because of them, um, they are basically their Carlton has been forced to basically face the reality of that uh, of the victory that they have, and they're going to accept the plethora of new hearing students busted in after their underperforming schools were shut down. Um, and uh, these are not good students. These are very, um, you know, troubling students, very disruptive, uh, just not the type of students you want to have in your class. Um, I'm, I will be the first to say that I actually have students like that in my class, and it is annoying. Um, not as bad as this, though. I mean, this was like the epitome of awful, awful students in your class. Like, you never want to go to school and have these type of kids in your class. Um, they're kind of like the remedial kids and everything that didn't really, you know, didn't really go well for them. And Daphne wants to change this because they're, you know, they're trying to read um, this book, Dangerous Mind. And um, while they're reading it, there's this huge fight that just starts um, going on between these two people. And uh, it, it gets way too loud. And, it, you know, it, it really, it works really well. Now, first I'm like, okay, is this going to make sense? Is this going to be ridiculous? But actually it didn't make sense to me. However... The girl that they had is probably the most one of the most annoying characters on this show, in my opinion. I thought she was really, really annoying. Um, what we eventually find out, though, is that these people are actually there because they um, they were they kind of um, as I said they were disruptive in their other classes, and they kind of feel like they're forced to be there, and that they're dumb. They're they're living in a dump basically, where that nobody cares if they succeed, nobody cares if they do well. They they are basically just forced to stay there, and they're that's why they're not acting well at all because they're trying to show that they don't want to be here. They're going to give reasons as to why they don't want to be here, and they're going to do whatever they can to stop themselves from being here. So they don't really care about anything at this point. I mean, the, the girl basically said that they just feel like a dump, which means they don't care about their schoolwork, they don't care about their grades, they don't care about their life, they don't care about anything. And it's really, really sad, but Daphne does want to help them out. Uh, will she be able to? I don't know. I don't know if Daphne will be able to, but we'll, we'll just, we'll have to see. I'm, I'm definitely interested in seeing how this is all going to, um, you know, work out for her. Um, I'm definitely interested in seeing how that's going to work. Also with Daphne, though, um, as we know, she did turn herself in for that whole thing with the senator last year, and um, we saw her have this dream, and she thought, John, you know, we thought she was in jail. I knew she wasn't in jail. I'm like, Daphne in jail? No, that's not possible. She's not in jail. She's actually uh, doing community service um, for the elderly people, basically, and um, she has this new boss there. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Jeff from season two. I don't think they're going to do the same thing, though, because this time it's something completely different. Um, there's this wheelchair kid who's actually a really nice kid. Um, I can't remember his name right now. What's his name? What's his name? I, 
I can't think of his name. Um, but what I what I really do like is that um, you know, he's gonna basically this wheelchair kid is trying to help her and show her that you know it could be okay, and you know she does like what she's doing. But she finally does admit to Toby that the real reason that she's so upset is because she thinks John hates her and is going to throw her out. Because this wheelchair kid tells her that, um, you know, people get thrown out because of this stuff and, you know, she should feel very happy that she hasn't been. And this really starts to worry her. But, um, so... I really like this next scene. Toby brings up the fact that she helped that her father, you know, John, that John helped her um, coach a basketball team. So Daphne kind of decides to bring that back. And her hope is for her to reconnect with John and also for her to bring back the basketball team. Now, it actually does not really end up working. Um, you know, they, it really does not end up working well for her because John is too busy. So she really doesn't get a chance to ask him. But Toby decides to do it. Toby at this point really isn't doing much of anything. Nikki is off um, doing some sort of, um, Nikki is somewhere else at this point. I can't remember exactly where Nikki is, but she's somewhere else, and he's basically just there. Um, and I, re I really do like this, though. I think it's cool that we've kind of seen now Toby and Daphne sort of have this really good relationship. I mean, they've always had a great relationship as brother and sister, but definitely this was different to me. I, I really enjoyed this because she thought she was going to be thrown out of the house, and I don't think she's going to be thrown out of the house. I think this is actually going to put her back on top, and I think she's trying. She's basically trying to turn her whole life around because she has two big things that she can fix. She can, you know, fix Carlton, you know, get these kids on track, and also reconnect with John. That's the big thing that she wants to do is reconnect with John. And I think Katie Lur uh, Lurk, who played her on this episode, did a really great job in that scene. It was a very emotional scene. And I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed that last scene of, of uh, Bay, Toby, and Daphne in the car. I, I really enjoyed that scene because it was a lot of fun and very playful brother and sister. Like, I really enjoyed that. Speaking of Bay, as far as Bay is going, um, she's also coming through a hard time. You know, she still thinks that Ty cheated on her. Um, you know, he lied to her and told her that he cheated on her. But as we know, Mary Beth found out that he didn't. So she has to keep that secret out. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if Mary Beth is going to tell Bay that she, you know, knows that Ty cheated on her. Um, I'm definitely interested in seeing that. I, I'm really looking forward if she does because Mary Beth is back. Um, in this episode, which we did see. Um, the other thing that I do like is that there's this other guy, um, which we'll get to in a second, but Emmett's mother recommends Bay to join this uh, senior art program, uh, kind of like a, I think it's called Co, Co Art or something like that, and Bay automatically is interested. Um, it's not, it's, it, she's having fun except for this guy who's at first really annoying to her. Uh, he's played by Max Adler from Glee, you know, he played Karofsky, and I think he was a really funny character. He made me laugh a lot. At first I'm like, oh god, this guy's gonna be really annoying, but then he really tried to help her out. He told her, you know, he could come, she could come to his house and like, you know, he'd be studying homework, but it turned out to be this huge party, and it really does not end up going well for her. Um, she almost, this guy gets, oh, gets her, she gets, this guy almost gets her drunk, almost has sex with her, but he stops her from doing that. And she kind of talks to him and says how the real reason that she's so upset is because she does not know the whole thing with Toby. She does not know, not Toby, Ty. She doesn't know about Ty. She does not know if Ty cheated on her. She thinks Ty cheated on her and everything. And he wants to try to help her with this. And I think that he and her might actually start to get together. And I'd actually like for that to happen. He seems like a very nice guy for her to kind of um, hold her back from Ty. I think Ty will eventually be back, but you gotta remember the whole reason they did this was because he didn't want Bay to feel any remorse of him leaving and try to convince him or give him a reason not to leave because she's just way too upset right now. It's really backfiring on his part, but you know, definitely very interesting. Really love Bay's story, and I thought that was great too. Um, and then two quick things: Catherine and Regina. Catherine, as far as Catherine's going, I really like her storyline. She, of course, is, as any parent would be, you know, she's kind of upset about Daphne and Bay going off to, you know, to be seniors because she realizes they only have one year of school, then they're going to move out. And, uh, she, you know, she goes to this therapist. The therapist kind of tells her to stop stressing out so much and stop doing things like that. And uh, so she, she meets this new guy. Um, what's his name? His name is... And we had a lot of new characters, in case you can't already tell. Uh, Renzo, who immediately becomes her, like, new BFFs. And um, they start, like, doing these tap dances and just having a lot of fun. And he kind of tells her that maybe if she, you know, 
tell little white lies to get her out of bad situations, you know, to keep her from doing hard stuff, but then she tells one really big lie to John, kind of about, um, you know, his party or, like, some sort of big meeting, business meeting, dinner he had, and she lied about it, and it's really going to affect her in the end. I kind of have this feeling that John and Catherine might actually be heading for a divorce in this season. I would not be surprised if that happened, because I just feel like that's the direction that they're going to go with this show, is that everyone's going to, you know, everything's going to change. They said this is the season of changes, so I think that'd be a pretty big change if they got a divorce, and I would not be surprised if that happened in this episode. Um, you know, it kind of felt like in this episode, Catherine is kind of starting to feel detached from John a little bit, and um, I'm seeing that a lot, so I'm definitely interested. And also, we've seen a very different kind of a meaner, slicker, not very nice side of John, so um, I really enjoyed seeing her storyline, because I'm sure a lot of uh, mothers can relate to that. Also, I, re I am thinking that she's going to eventually divorce, uh, get a divorce with John, basically. I think she's going to do that. And then lastly, Regina. Um, Regina, um, her boss is leaving her, um, her job to go to London, and she tells Bay about this, and Bay says, why doesn't she just buy the company from her, which Regina thinks is a good idea. She tells Angelo about this, and uh, Angelo kind of yells at her because of the, um, because this person starts yelling at him, the, the mother of um, his actual daughter, you know, that the actual mother of his daughter starts yelling at him and everything about dealing, you know, like money and debt problems. Oh, she shouldn't be here. This is not good for her. And I'm just like, shut up. Let them be happy together because I, I thought it was annoying. Um, but then, you know, he goes off at her and everything, but then eventually he does apologize to her. And I actually really did like that, that he did apologize and said, hey, you know what, I will be here for you. I'm here to support you, and I will get you the money you need to buy the company. And I really hope she is successful in buying the company, because I really like to see that storyline happen. And I think that will happen, but I'll have to, we'll have to see. So yeah, overall, great um, great season premiere in my opinion. I thought it was a really great premiere, and I really liked a lot of the changes happening in this episode. Let me know what you guys saw of this episode. Um, do you think Daphne is going to be able to redeem herself, basically? I think she will, but she has a lot of things, you know. Do you think these Carlton kids are also going to get their act together and start to actually care about things? Um... Also, Bay and this new guy played by Max Adler, do you think he's going to, um, they're going to start some sort of relationship? Also, do you think Catherine and John could be headed for a divorce? I, I, I'm thinking that's going to happen. And uh, will Regina be able to buy the company? And also, will Mary Beth eventually tell Bay that Ty did not cheat on her? I think it'd be really great if her and the new guy start dating and then Mary Beth tells her. I think it'd be a really big twist and I'd really enjoy that. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what's going to happen there. But that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, uh, overall, great premiere. Really enjoyed it. Really loved the new changes in the show. And I just cannot wait to see what's, what else is going to happen. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be my review of The Blacklist. So see you then. Bye.